Welcome to episode three of this five part series with Fadiba, where we look at a number of scripts and extensions that allow you to become a more efficient editor inside of After Effects. In episode one and two, situated somewhere around this video, we looked at Anchor Sniper and Kaba. And in episode three, we're gonna look at a script called Declutter. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when the heat is on, I don't have time to create an organized folder structure. I'm bringing in my PSD files, PNG, WAF, whatever it may be, and just dumping it into the project panel. And when you've been editing for quite some time, that starts to become very messy. Declutter looks to help you with that with just a single click. Declutter, it's a $19.99 tool. Why are we talking about it? Well, here I have this uh, animation. It's got the Fedivo V and then some of our social uh, channels. And this entire project is just filled with YouTube elements from closing titles, um, transitions, opening titles. And if we look at the project panel, it is an absolute state from dozens upon dozens of compositions, multiple solids, JPEGs, a quick time files, MP4s, the list really goes on. Now, I think I would probably be okay in keeping this as is because I know where everything is and what I need to look for because I've moved around within this project for so many years. If I wanted to sell this project file or give it to a colleague, this would really need to be cleaned up. And the process of creating folders, you know, uh, call this a solids, and then finding these two, uh, where's it gone? There it is. Any more, we've got this medium blue, you know, it's too long. I feel that it's taken too long just doing this tutorial. So this is where declutter can come in. So we're gonna to go to window, extensions, declutter. And we have this very minimal looking UI pop up and it actually looks empty, but this here is the button. It says declutter, but this is a preset that comes with the extension. And I'm gonna click this and look at what happens with our project panel. Everything has been organized neatly. From our solids, comps, we have our pre-comp folder. Assets have been divided from Photoshop layers down into uh, footage. Everything has been very neatly organized as if someone has just spent a good hour putting everything into the correct place. Declutter has done it instantly. So if you're creating a composition or a project and you know things have just got out of hand in the project panel this can really save you now let's open up the declutter button to see how this is working so i'm going to click edit and now what we have is a folder structure and we have our comps pre-comps assets which is then broken down into several other folders and solids and you can change and adjust these folders as you want to. And we can also, if we just click off this, go back to it, sorry, go to new folder structure. We can create our entirely own folder structure. If you're working with very specific types of files like OBJs or maybe some Cinema 4D files, and you wanna bring those in and implement them into your own folder structure, you can do it right here. But what I'm gonna do is just delete this and go to declutter and I'm gonna show you how these folder structures are able to find what they need to. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to images, I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna click it again, and this adds a folder to the image folder itself. So it's creating a subfolder. Here, I'm gonna call this PNG, and here I'm gonna call this one JPEG. Now, if I click this that says none and open it, we now have another panel which displays the folder type. And this is what, kind of like a DaVinci Resolve smart folder, will filter through your media into these folders. So we can choose stuff from compositions down to data files, solids, but primarily what I wanna focus on is extension. So here I'm gonna type in PNG. It could be absolutely anything uh, if you're working with Adobe Illustrator files or uh, ESPs. So then go down to JPEG, extension, type that in. Okay, and then I'm gonna click save. Now, if we go down to our images by here, we can see that uh, the JPEG and the uh, PNGs are all together. I'm gonna to click declutter, go back up to our image folder, and now we have them split between PNGs and JPEGs. 
And I think in After Effects in particular, PNGs are uh, typically used a lot differently. Uh, so it's nice to have them grouped all together. So yes, if you are a messy After Effects user and you do need to tidy things up towards the end of your edit, this is a must have tool. All right, I've been Lewis with Fedivo and this has been one episode of our helpful scripts and extensions for After Effects. If you haven't watched the others, they will be dotted somewhere around the video, so be sure to check them out.